into a number of other areas of science. Uh, there was, when I first started uh, in, in anatomy, was sort of the peak when uh, there were some really outstanding anatomists uh, uh, working. Uh, and uh, anatomy was uh, uh, utilized by surgeons in which, and, and surgeons in training used to come back and teach anatomy so that they would be uh, up to snuff with, with, uh, with anatomy. But uh, about that time, the electron microscope came in, and people who went into anatomy wanted to do electron microscopy, not dissect cadavers. And uh, then that's been now followed by molecular biology. And uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure if you talk to department heads, uh, they would say that their first priority today is not anatomy, uh, but uh, molecular biology. That's where the money is. That's what's going to keep uh, keep it all going. And so, the only people who do uh, gross anatomy are people who usually are not interested in gross anatomy. There's nothing in it for them in the usual sense. Uh, if you're in molecular biology, you can get a Nobel Prize. You know that if you're uh, working in uh, anatomy, you're not going to get a Nobel Prize. Uh, is this the way that goes? So, what is happening is uh, courses are still being given. The courses are getting shorter and shorter. Uh, uh, and as a consequence, people are not interested in going into anatomy. And it means that information uh, is being lost. As the textbooks go from this size down to this size, two and a half inches to one inch, you know something is being lost. And so uh, frequently the part that's lost is the anatomic variations. And we see lawsuits all the time uh, where a surgeon or whatever didn't know about the variations. He never, was never taught them or made aware of them. And uh, makes a big mistake. I think where anatomy is going, uh, uh, all is not lost, at least uh, uh, for, those of us, for those of us who care about anatomy. Uh, the radiologists have a need, they want to know and they need to know, and they're legally, uh, legally liable if they don't know. So uh, I, I think the natural uh, evolution of this will be towards radiology. And anatomy departments as such will probably disappear uh, and go into uh, uh, departments of molecular biology. I think the last time uh, there was uh, I was in an anatomy department, and they wanted to change the name of the department from anatomy, department of anatomy, to something else. And uh, everybody wanted to change it to the department of cell biology. And only in pointing out that if we take anatomy out of the department of cell biology, there's no reason to have a whole department, all of us sitting there, uh, get, get, get rid of the, have the dean get rid of the whole bunch. I mean, there's no, uh, you're not doing anything that uh, the, the college needs or thinks it needs or wants or has to do. So uh, it was a Department of Cell Biology and Anatomy. So, uh, I, I, I think there is a shift, and that's a good one, because when you need to know and you want to know, it's going to be healthy and survive. It's only when you don't care that uh, it goes uh, from bad to worse. And I think that's what's happening in the